Hey guys, this is Art, and today what I have for you is none other than Gohan Beast. And I'm pretty sure I can speak for all of us that when this form finally came out, man, it was a good day. A real good day. It's kind of like they say, better late than never. Though it took a while, Gohan's power is finally relevant and comparable to Goku and Vegeta. And all of us Gohan fans can finally rejoice. <laughs> and side note, Orange Piccolo, very happy about that one too. They've been disrespecting him for way too long. And yes, I do plan on drawing him as well. Now what you're seeing is my drawing process on how I do skin and basically everything. I start with the base and then begin to add shadows. A point I want to emphasize right now is if you look at how I'm shadowing and you'll notice that it's not that drastic. It doesn't go super dark in the very beginning. It's as if I'm layering it above the base slowly adding a little bit more shadowing to different areas to create that sense of depth. And the reason why I'm going to pause and talk about this is because what I see a lot of beginning artists tend to do is to go from 0 to 100 super quick in regards to the values on how quickly something goes from light to darkness. Now granted, the environment will dictate your values in any drawing, but for the most part, try to follow this general tip. Zero being white, 100 being black. You try to stay within the 20-80% mark, 80% of the drawing. And for 20%, you stay between 0 and 20 and 80 to 100. Now you notice the extreme bright and extreme darkness is very limited. They're mainly just there to help create that contrast that is needed in your drawings. You're not supposed to live in them because if you do, your drawings will end up being way too dark and muddy or way too bright and overexposed. Though the tendency is always to make something way too dark, which seems to be the case for most artists. And it is still something I have to keep an eye on today. Because if you don't keep your values in check, you'll gradually go to your tendency, which for me and a lot of us most likely is, is to make something too dark. And the easiest way to check your values in any drawing is to make it black and white, grayscale. So you can see what is white, what shades of gray you have, and what is black. And while in this mode, you'll know if you made your drawing way too dark and muddy. Because it'd be hard to see your drawing in general. And areas will kind of just all blend together. And you won't know where something begins, something ends. And overall, be hard to see. And a fun fact is when I first started to digitally draw, I couldn't wrap my head around drawing in color. So because of that, I actually started drawing in grayscale and using gradient maps to make it go from grayscale to color. And one major benefit of doing something in grayscale is you're only focused on the values. No color whatsoever. Though I don't draw on grayscale anymore, I go straight to color now because after enough practice, I was finally able to understand it. So to sum it up, if you keep your values in check, you'll see your drawings elevate that much more. And here is the final completed drawing of Gohan Beast in all his glory. And this is the part of the video I want to ask you to like, subscribe, but also turn on all notifications so you never miss any new video that I drop on a weekly basis. Until the next one guys. Out.